Hello, thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight I'm going to be making my favorite dish for dinner, cold soba, from this book, Japanese Cooking Made Simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is gather together your ingredients. You'll need soba noodles, toasted nori, scallions, daikon, and for the sauce, which is also in the cookbook, soy sauce, dashi, and miri. The first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is start preparing my ingredients, starting with the daikon. The recipe calls for it to be grated, but I'm going to go ahead and peel and slice it very thinly. There we go. The daikon is prepared. Now I'm going to put this in a bowl. Here's my daikon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my scallions. I'm just going to give them a quick wash and chop them up really quick. My scallions are prepared now. And I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to the same bowl that I put the daikon in. Here are my prepared scallion and daikon. I prepared a lot of extra because Bakugo and Kirishima sometimes like to come and take my food. So I just went ahead and made extra in advance. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is prepare my noodles as well as my dashi. I have a dashi powder, so I'm just going to be mixing it into boiling water as it says on the container. All right, my dashi stock is prepared now and is still on the stove behind me because I'm gonna be using it to make the suyu sauce for my soba. And I have my soba noodles right here on this plate set off to the side. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, nori sheets and I'm gonna go ahead and julienne them and also, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the suyu sauce. Now, to prepare the suyu sauce, you need two thirds cup dashi, which I have prepared behind me, and then you need a third a cup of soy sauce and two tablespoons of mirin. So here's my table sauce and mirin. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine those on the stove, like it says to, on medium heat. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat after I bring it to a boil. And I'm also going to go ahead and take out a few sheets of nori. And I'm going to go ahead and julienne these really quick. Alright, I dropped some on the counter. But my, my nori is now julienned, which is just cutting it like this. I also julienned my daikon since I don't have a grater. My uh, suyu sauce is now on the stove behind me cooling, so now I just have to wait for that to cool. And once everything is cooled, then we can put it all together and eat it. All right, all of our ingredients are now cooled. Here's the soba. Here's our suyu sauce. Here's our scallions and our daikon. And our seaweed, still exactly where it was before. So now I'm gonna just sprinkle my nori over my noodles. Probably cut up more than I needed to but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move my knife out of the way so I don't injure myself. Now I've sprinkled my, my soba with some nori, and I'm gonna go ahead and add Daikon, 
and scallions right on top and make a mess. And now I'm going to dig in. Itadakimasu! My favorite meal right here. I'm gonna make a mess. If I keep messing around. And that is how you make a cold soba. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Oyasumi nasai.